think that was about five seconds. A little bit longer. I think it was ten. But let's get into it. So, we're going to talk about Matrix <sighs> Resurrections. And I think it's important to start off with a quote. Yeah. What the architect said to Neo and what Neo is. Matrix Reloaded. The architect said to Neo, your life is the um, remainder of an unbalanced equation inherent to the programming of the matrix. Your life is the eventuality of an anomaly which despite my sincerest efforts I have been unable to eliminate from what would otherwise be a harmony of mathematical precision. While it remains a burden it cannot be avoided and not unexpected, thus not beyond a measure of control, which has led you here, inexorably here. That's what Neo is. He has a program, he was programmed as the one, the sum remainder of an unbalanced equation inherent to the programming of the matrix. Neo, Neo spelt backwards one, the one, not the two, the one. In this movie, they have attempted to rewrite history. You know what? The original story, let's change this to that, them to they, be to the, it to was, and one to two. But you've already written the story, it's in stone, yet you have decided to rewrite it. And not only that, right? As I was watching this movie, uh, so first of all, there was alarm bells ringing in kind of near the beginning of the movie where you saw uh, Bugs was in the modal, yeah, uh, for the a, a modal for training agents or something like that, right? Uh, I have no idea what was going on to be honest with you. It just looked like it was an excuse in order to write in Morpheus and. Object just to obtain Morpheus essentially and redo a scene from the original Matrix movie. I can't explain it other than that. And then you saw Bugs, yeah, and she jumped in because the scene was not how it was supposed to be from the original. And then she got caught by the agents, she ran off, they chased after her, and then she and then her hair was wet right on the top of the building as she was confronting the agent saying be as you were then she ran they shot after her she jumped off the building done some cool um flip bounced off a building springed off of it and shot straight into a neon post yeah let's bear in mind her hair was wet when she landed on the floor her hair was dry now from this was an alarm bell for me because it was so obvious it was such a glaring issue that was a continuance and that was a red flag why because it showed to me that they do not care about continuances and the reason that's important is because if you watch matrix let's say matrix one two reloaded comes to mind here if you watch the fight where neo was fighting the uh what are they called the exiles yeah, and he was using different weapons. Watch that fight again. In a fight scene with so many moving parts, there was not one continuance. 
I mean, there were a lot of long takes of action and martial arts, like Matrix fighting. But when the camera angle would change, what was in that last cut was in the second cut. And then three minutes into the fight, something that was in one place in the fight or something that was lying on the floor was still in that same position there was no mistakes but it was it was pretty much the whole movie was like that right but it just showed the level of detail that they care about this movie this movie like 10 minutes into it i found at least four continuances which showed to me that they didn't care and that was when I had the feeling of dread. The, um, let's be honest, the action in this movie was void of any life. The fights, then they were not Matrix fights. They were the fights were short. There was a lot of cuts, a lot of different uh, takes. Each scene had like maybe one or two moves that it would cut, and they use shaky cam in a Matrix movie. I don't understand. Like it made no sense to me. And then even, there was um, a scene in the movie, right, um, where it showed um, Thomas Anderson was just stuck in the mind-numbing what's real, what's not real, Thomas Anderson phase, because he's like a game designer in the beginning of this movie, right, and he created a movie called The Matrix. A, which is like the biggest game of that world yeah a game where they don't show you what the gameplay looks like all they show you is moving said he wanted to make a movie which is indistinguishable from real life what was the game graphics they didn't show you the game graphics they didn't show you gameplay it was just heard you just heard of it the most you saw that was close to it was what was it something on this computer screen or his desktop called binary or something like that. Other than that, it never showed you what the game looked like or what the gameplay was. But that's the tool that they've used to fool him into thinking the Matrix is a video game you've created. Whatever, bro. Makes no sense. Already, it's broken. Nothing to myself. Do you even know what video games are? Do you know what video games look like? But you must do because you guys work on that Unreal Engine matrix resurrections demo that just came out like a week or two before the movie came out so i don't understand it's so confusing to me right but as the movie was going on and um, thomas hansen was taking like the blue pills you know that his shrink was giving him to keep his mind stable yeah because he kept on breaking out of the matrix or just about to so what they would do is they would use this thing that the guy has created to subdue Thomas Anderson, which is bullet time. They actually use bullet time as an ability for the new architect in this movie. I may I don't understand it already. You've got you've lost me. They lost me. And he can rewind time and slow down time. I think he can stop time, but it's just so he can rewind it and he can stop. He can stop time and rewind time and slow it down dramatically. Now I'm looking at this. And I think to myself, have I misunderstood what the Matrix is? Because I didn't think Neil was ever able to slow down time. When he did bullet time, wasn't he moving so fast? That in order for us to comprehend how fast he was moving, they slowed the camera down. So that was for us, not for him. That's what my interpretation of what bullet time was. Because even Trinity said to him, how did you do that? And he said, do what? She said, the way you moved, you moved like them. And the agents move in some weird, like, dodging effect. They move so fast they can actually dodge bullets that's what i thought it was but it's like they've interpreted bullet time as slowing down time but what i'm thinking and what i'm pretty sure it is is they have a disdain 
for the influence that the original movies have had on pop culture, the way it changed the world, and the way it changed films. Weird, because since Matrix 1, Matrix 1, Matrix Reloaded, sorry, let's not call it Matrix 1. Since the Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, cinema has been so heavily influenced by those movies. It's so strange to me. How do you go from Matrix, the Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, I don't, I don't want to say Matrix Revolutions, bro, but it's part of the um, trilogy, but I really don't want to mention it, but I'll say it anyway. Sorry, you can if you can, please do that for me, yeah, because I don't want to say it, yeah. How do you make Matrix and Matrix Reloaded and make this? I don't understand. These are the same people that writ, that did, um, writ, that writ and directed Bound, The Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, Matrix Revolutions. How do you go from making those movies to making this pile of garbage? I'm so puzzled. This movie is a satire of, no, it's a parody of Matrix. Of all three Matrixes, it's a parody. It's a patronizing condescending is it yeah there is a lot of patronizing going on especially when you get this situation where you have these people in a boardroom saying let's call this movie the cat matrix if you look at the way movies are done these days movies aren't done um no uh, yeah they said like sequels like there was a bit with the merovingian where the merovingian um came in there in like a homeless guy and he says this is not the end of me you will see me again in a spin-off in a in a sequel um in a sequel spin-off series this is not the end right so it's like they are taking a piss out of sequels and the fact that matrix one two and three existed because i feel as well that this movie they forced them to make this movie and lana wachowski did not want to make this movie especially after the covid hit right but they were forced to make it because Warner Brothers said if you don't make this movie we'll make this movie without you they even say it in the movie and we know it for a fact that when Matrix was being made Lana Wachowski wanted to call off the making of the Matrix because of Covid but the studio said no filming will commence we'll create guidelines and safety measures but you will complete the filming of the Matrix. So when they were talking, and in this movie they talk about Warner Brothers. They mention Warner Brothers. They mention uh, the Matrix video game. The studio Warner Brothers forced us to make the Matrix video game, and they say if they don't, we don't make it. They'll make it with or without us, right? And that is a clear shot at the studio, which shows us that we are paying the price for a power struggle that was happening between Lana Wachowski, the directors and the writers at the studio. And Lana Wachowski has intentionally, everyone that was involved in making this movie, the writers, the directors, the producers, executive producers, the, the art direction people, everybody, their intention was to make a mediocre matrix movie to give the executives and the studio the middle finger for forcing them to make this movie for forcing their hand they would rather kill this movie or put it on life support then someone else take over it and do whatever they're going to do with um, their life's work that's how I feel about this movie, man. And also, Keanu um, Neo. Like, there was no... He, he didn't fight in this movie. He... It was half-arsed. I'm like... What are we doing? 
what are we doing here? He had, like, literally, when he's, there was a scene where they tried to recreate the Morpheus versus Neo fight, right? And Neo wasn't really trying, he wasn't fighting back against um, Morpheus. But then when he did decide to fight back, essentially, he kind of fought back a little bit. And then to end of the fight, he just did like, uh, like it's almost like an EMP blast or something like that. And that was literally his get out of a fight card was just using his EMP blast. That was it. Even when he fought against Smith, there was a bit where he fought against Smith and he used his EMP blast to deflect um, Smith's attacks. When he wanted to end off end the fight, he used his EMP blast. When he wanted to, when it could have been like a sick fight, but instead of it being like a sick fight where he's doing like fighting, he would just do EMP. It was a plot device. It was a way, it was a shortcut to not do the choreography. And that was not Keanu Reeves' fault. That was the director's, the writer's fault. Because we know he can do it. You don't think he can do it? I beg to differ. Go watch um, John Wick. John Wick 2. John Wick 3, Parabellum. Those movies show to me he can clearly still do long takes of martial arts and just be sick with it. So, I don't know, man. It's just... It just hurt me to watch this movie, man. Because of the... The disrespect to something that we have all grown up with. And it kind of pained me, actually, a lot more than I think it would have. But it was that's my fault. I made the mistake. Because I watched recently, like a couple days ago. So I have this fresh in my head. I ruined this movie for myself because this movie is incomparable to the original three movies. Well, incomparable. To these two movies so I kind of ruined the movie for myself by watching them and having all the information so clear in my head they didn't care they didn't care about the movie they didn't even use any new music did they use any new music in this movie I don't think so most of them, now I think if I think about it, the music was the same music as in the first movies. Like, I don't understand. And it wasn't they they had a, there was some cool things in the movie. There were some cool parts in the movie and ideas, but it was that was it. It was just like a couple ideas, and they just threw a lot of acronyms and gibberish in there just to make it long and drawn out just for the sake of making it long drawn out and confusing because a lot of the elements in there that were confusing didn't actually mean anything and when you edit all the bits that were confusing then you can understand what is going on I mean if you don't want to do a good movie don't do the movie man L let the studio, if the studio definitely wants to do a Matrix movie, I'm positive they could find somebody that is, love the Matrix, that could do it. I'm positive, bro. Because a lot of people that made the Matrix, that sorry, that watched the Matrix, and the Matrix were in school when Matrix came out. I was in school when Matrix came out. So you must have people that are around my age or a little bit older, or a little bit younger, that watch The Matrix, that love The Matrix, are, are in film, and could have made a Matrix movie. I'm positive of it. So why not let those or someone else do it if you really have this much disdain for it? Because as I said, this movie is a, 
It's a parody. A condescending parody of the original Matrix movies. I, I don't even want to call it a sequel. Because they reuse so many scenes from the original Matrix. In, and what's so funny? The best part of the film was when they were when I saw scenes from the original movies. So in one second, in one um, context, this movie is a sequel. But in some contexts, um, because they did continue some... They did con make a continuation in part of the film of from the uh, where Revolutions left off. But then it felt like a remake because they redid, they reshot new scenes, but they weren't new. They were just remade version scenes from the original Matrix and Matrix Reloaded. So I don't understand. Well, actually, it was more. Um, the Matrix, they re, they remade scenes, right? Which is so obvious to me because let's be honest, the best film in the whole Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, Matrix Revolutions, which was the best one? That's a question. Oh wait, yeah, me too, me too. I agree, I agree. They never, and that's what's so sad about it. 22 years later, you have all the technology. You've got Carrie Ann Moss and Keanu Reeves who still look damn good and can still go. You got all the money behind you. You have the people that want it, need it and love it. And this is what you come up with. These are your ideas that you can, in terms of evolving, this is what you do. This is your evolution. It just is so sad that 22 years later and three films later, they still can't top the Matrix. There were, I mean, I would say half of the Matrix Reloaded was on the same level as the matrix but the matrix was is number one you cannot beat the matrix that movie was the absolute perfect movie and even in this movie matrix resurrections the movie the film felt very um how do i say it uh, it felt like a set movie like there was a lot of scenes in the movie that felt like it was filmed on a set. It did the movie didn't look cheap, not at all. That's not what I'm saying. But it looked like it was just a lot of sets. And it did have that organic feel to it. That the original Matrix and Matrix Loaded. And the fact what's so funny is there was a lot of CG in Matrix Loaded. Yet Matrix Loaded felt more it grabbed me and sucked me into the movie and I was just so absorbed by it. In this movie, I do think maybe a part of that is something to do with the fact that maybe Keanu Reeves the way he looks in this movie, he looks exactly the way in this movie as he does in Cyberpunk, as in John Wick, and in real life, right? So maybe that was part of what took me out of not being drawn into the movie. But I don't think so. The movie is, it just, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. And I think to myself, why did I expect so much, man? That video that I did about a week or two weeks ago before the movie uh, Matrix Resurrections came out, where I spoke in depth about the ideas, Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, Matrix Revolutions, and the trailer for Matrix Resurrections, discard all of that. You don't need to watch that video anymore. 
I was aiming way too high. My ambition and aspirations for what the Matrix was way, way too high. I just couldn't comprehend that the filmmakers ambition was so low I could not have even perceived it it's crazy it's crazy to me and you even see like in the movie when they talk we're going to be making there's a, there's a scene in this movie where the company that Thomas Anderson works for and they're making a video game the matrix 4 and it's called and the name of the game is called Deus Ex Machina the God's Machine crazy man this movie they, they, they didn't have any respect for us none whatsoever and it's sad because this is their legacy I don't want to see another Matrix movie I don't want to don't make a Matrix 5 man because if you're gonna disrespect Matrix you're gonna trample all over my memories the way you are trampling on my memories and my just what the Matrix is stop stop don't do it and it's like they didn't want to do anything cool it's like they're too hipster now they're too they're too in themselves to be cool like if you look at Matrix Re um, Reloaded man the style in that movie bro they didn't even attempt it in this movie they didn't even attempt man I mean you did have Bugs and Morpheus that were pretty stylish but you I don't know I don't know it didn't work because the movie was so lifeless I've never watched such a movie that it clearly had a lot of money behind it but it didn't feel organic it didn't have the movie felt like it didn't have a soul speaking of not having a soul they could bring back the dead the robots the machines can bring back the dead because they answer the question is did, did neo die did Tr neo died trinity definitely died and they brought them back to life i had no idea the machines could bring people back to life I've watched The Matrix since the trailer for Matrix Resurrection has come out. I have watched Matrix, The Matrix, six times. I have made, watched Matrix Reloaded three times. And I've watched like bits of Matrix Revolutions. Right? But other than that, I've watched them so much. I didn't catch one part where I realised they could bring humans back to life a dead human back to life i know they grow humans yeah but i didn't know that they could rebuild take a human that is dead rebuild them bring them back to life and then reinsert them back into the matrix i had no clue but anyway that's what they did in this movie and it's just uh it's sad man forever this is our matrix and i could have appreciated this movie so much more because there were certain cool bits about the movie where you would see directors of uh photography art direction people fight choreographers um assistant directors assistant producers producers in the movie stuntmen in the movie the director of john wick who was also um keanu reeves's um stunt double for the matrix 
at all the Matrix movies. Here was Trinity's husband. Well, Trinity's name was Tiffany in this movie, but he played her husband. That was cool. Trinity, her, uh, the basically, she doesn't know who she is. Her name is Tiffany, and her husband is Chad. Chad, who is the stunt double for Keanu Reeves and the director of John Wick movies. It's cool. If they just wanted to make a cool film, then it would have been a better movie. But they didn't want to make a cool movie. It's sad, man. It's sad that this is what we're left with. And they couldn't even get the fights right. Matrix style. The Matrix fighting. The Matrix style of martial arts. They couldn't even get that right. It breaks my heart. This is going to be our Matrix. This is the legacy that you're going to leave behind for the Matrix. And not only was the other one to say that this movie was a satire, the movie was... It was a comedy as well. It was a sci-fi romance comedy. Satirical. Sci-fi satirical comedy romance. That's what that movie was. They don't respect us. We are an afterthought. In the promos, the press releases, they'll say it's for the fans. But during the movie, I, they didn't want to consider the fans. They didn't think about us, what we liked about the original movies, what we did like about the original, the ending of Matrix Revolutions. That kind of stuff didn't really matter. Trinity, to let's be honest, she wasn't even in the movie until the end of the movie, and it's only towards the end of the movie, like 20 minutes towards the end, less than that, that she came to awakening, that she realised she is Trinity, right? And even when she did, and then she, not only that, yeah, but she gained her powers as the one by the end of the movie. In the last less than 20 minutes of the movie. Oh my god, bro. I don't understand. I don't understand. And they made Neo so... He was such... He was a parody of himself. And he was so... Nerfed. Like... If there was a, if this was a game, and there was an update for Neo, and we saw the patch notes, the patch notes would be fixed, 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 nerf, 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 fix, fix, nerf, 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 fix, fix, nerf, 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 fix, nerf, fix, nerf, 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 and the file size would be like 50 gigs. They nerfed Neo into oblivion. Personality, persona, character development, abilities, everything. He couldn't do anything in this movie. Neo, where was his, where was his um, tele, um, telekinesis abilities? Where was his um, limited invulnerability? Where was his ability to fly? Where was his super strength? Where was his super speed? Nowhere to be seen. Like, I don't understand it, man. I don't understand it. Like, and his power can only be unlocked when he's with Trinity. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but when he got shot to death in the Matrix, I don't think Trinity was even in the Matrix, bro. I don't think she was in the Matrix. When, um, what happened when he fought against all those Smiths, the hundred Smiths? I don't think Trinity was in the Matrix. 
when he fought against the Merovingians um, exiles, he stopped the bullets and he was fighting them when he was using weapons. The incredible scene. I don't think Trinity was near him, right? So where does all this come from now that the source code, their abilities only unlock when they're next to each other? They've literally just rewritten history. They said, you know what? Yeah, this little detail, let's rub this out. This doesn't need to be there. Let's rewrite this. Let's move that to there. Let's edit all this stuff out. This is not relevant for today. So let's change that. Um, to, let's put this new thing in there. That's what I saw in this movie, man. They didn't care about... And I think I did see an interview where Lana Wachowski said she didn't watch the original Three Matrixes because it's her work. She knows what she did. It showed. It showed that she never watched the original movies before making this movie, right? Yeah, I believe her. I believe her. I don't feel like that was a lie. <sighs> Yesterday, I couldn't have done this video. I was fuming at the sheer disrespect. The fact that they was so patronizing, so condescending about the Matrix. The whole movie, they made a joke out of Neo doing bullet time. Even Keanu Reeves, Thomas Anderson, was making jokes of bullet time because it's in his video game, right? Do they really have such disdain for the original work? That you have original characters like Sati, who was barely in the movie. And then even in the movie, she was nothing. I swear at the end of the movie, she was like a an administrator or something she had some type of power some type of influence over the matrix no no uh, what are we doing here what are we doing here man and they're making fun of bullet time I really don't recommend you watch this movie. Personally, of course, do what you want. I just feel that the risk of getting COVID, spending money, wasting money, wasting time and money is not worth it for this movie. No, no, this movie could not be what it needed to be but it could have been the reason i say that is because of john wick i know they could do it because of how godlike that movie is the scope of that movie the visual of that movie and when you look at neo and thomas anderson and tiffany Oh, why don't, no, they're not really Neo. Because let's be honest, they're not Neo and they're not Trinity in this movie, right? Uh, they look... I mean, it was 22 years ago, but it was 22 years when they were young. So that's the reason they still look so good now is because, yeah, as I said, they were, so, they were young in the original films right but it was really weird like see how Keanu Reeves he looks the same as he did before it's just that he got the beard and long hair now but he pretty much looks the same as he did in the original mo movies I'll get over it. I'll get over it. I'll forget about this Matrix. Um, I don't care about it. 
movie dragged. That's the thing. The movie wasn't a short movie. It was a long movie. But it was so weird because I felt like nothing happened. Nothing got explained. There was a whole load, there was there was parts where this, it, there was things that were important that got sped up and there was no development and it just, but there we go, there's, there's Tiffany, there's your Trinity, then she's the one or the second and the end, they fly off. And then there's part where they explain some philosophical stuff that is just full of jargon and garbage and irrelevant talk and they just do it for the sake of doing it to make the it's like it's filler to pack the the scene and like the movies its own self importance and the the fabric of the movie it's literally given us the middle finger saying that you guys are too stupid to understand what we are saying but you are literally saying a three minute dialogue and you're spending at least one minute 50 seconds of that dialogue repeating what you just said in the beginning but with different wording and to me it's insulting that's why i said and that was it's not just that but the whole movie just felt like a slap in the face right because of its sheer disregard for what we would want to see and the legacy of the matrix i just wish they could have understood what the matrix means to people especially for people like me that grew up on the matrix that never seen anything like it before that when we first watched it our brains could not comprehend here go vis a vis accordingly and then as we grow up we start to understand more and more and more to the point where we can understand what they are like the, as i said to you in the very beginning of this review right when the architect said to neo your life is the sum of a remainder of an unbalanced equation inherent to the programming of the matrix you are the eventuality of an anomaly which despite my sincerest efforts I was unable to eliminate from what would otherwise be a harmony of mathematical precision. I could not even make head nor tail of what he is saying. But what he's saying makes so much sense. I think to myself, yeah, I was, I was young. Yeah, I, I would never have understood that. Even though now, I would think you'd have to be an idiot not to be able to understand it. But we'd never seen anything like that. So our brains were developing. Our uh, awareness of the world, our understanding of things were beginning. How can people that made the Matrix work so hard? want to prove themselves so much be such fighters and then this movie comes along and they don't care we do whatever we want we don't need to try does it need to be good no as long as we pull it out it'll be fine it's like the gaming industry right now it's literally like the gaming industry right now it doesn't need to be working properly as long as it works it's fine doesn't need to be balanced doesn't need to um be working perfect order just as long as we can get it out there people will buy it it'll be fine we can fix what's ever wrong with it a little bit later on but let's get the money let's get the money in so we can have money for the holidays that's it they don't care about the reputation they don't care about the optics they don't care about what does the legacy of the game they don't care about tomorrow all they care about is we've got these suckers they're already in love with the matrix so even if we fuck up with this movie all we have to do is say we're gonna make a matrix 5 and guess what they're all gonna come running back they don't care they really don't care and even Smith in this movie 
I don't understand. I don't understand that Morpheus, Smith, Trinity, what are, what are they doing, man? Like, I don't want to say Smith was horrible, but it's very, very hard to have Smith in the Matrix movies, the Matrix, Matrix Revolutions, Matrix Revolutions, and then have this variation of Smith. They screwed up the Matrix. It's not a good movie. Uh, as I said to you at the beginning, I didn't like anything about this movie. Um, so what I did, did, what did I like? Nothing. What did I like? Everything. Um, movie, I'll give it a three out of ten or a four out of ten, something like that. Let's say three out of ten. And um, yeah, personally, don't waste your time watching it. But if you like Matrix, the first Matrix movie, and you like Matrix Reloaded, the first half of it up to where Matrix fought 100 Smiths, then stay away from this movie. If you like Matrix Revolutions, like, loved it, loved Matrix Revolutions, then I guess you could watch this movie and enjoy it. But, yep, that's all I really got to say about uh, Matrix Resurrections, the remake, the sequel, the satirical comedy the read the recap of the recap of the recap because it did feel like a recap to be honest with you because they showed so many scenes of the old movie uh so it just depends on what you want to do but i would say don't watch it waste of time but each to his own i was curious and my curiosity has been fulfilled and to be honest with you, I wish I never watched it. So Warriors, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. You know I appreciate you guys. Merry Christmas. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.